going on you guys it's outdoor maniac here again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to take off a flywheel on a smaller engine um, this one's about six and a half horsepower 196 cc so let's get started so the first thing you're, want, you're going to want to get is an eight millimeter socket I'm using a deep socket you can use a shallow socket doesn't really matter as long as you have an eight millimeter socket that will work you should be fine so there's four bolts holding on the flywheel cover. So I'm gonna take this one out. It's at the top right of the engine. Now that that one's out, I'm gonna to move to the bottom. The second bolt is at the lower right hand corner of the engine. I'm gonna take this one out, just like so. Move that aside, keep track of your bolts. I'm gonna move on to the next one. The third one is at the upper left hand corner of the engine and it's in between the gas tank and the throttle body. So I'm going to take that out. This is where the long socket comes in handy. You can also use an extension, but I prefer a long socket. So here we are at the lower left hand side of the engine and we're going to remove this bolt. This is also again where the, the longer socket comes in handy. So we're removing that bolt and then we can just pop the cover off. Alrighty, so here I have my four bolts holding on the flywheel cover, and I'm going to set these aside. Make sure to not lose them. And then next, we can just simply pop the flywheel cover off. This is exposing you to the flywheel, the fan, your ignition coil, as well as some other miscellaneous parts. Okay, so here I am at, my, at the left side of the engine. I'm going to take the ignition coil off with two 8mm bolts. There's one, there's two, and now the ignition coil should be able to just... So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 19, 19 millimeter deep socket and I'm going to unscrew the bolt that holds the whole flywheel assembly onto the shaft of the engine. Like so, should just, the starter, club, the starter coupling should come first or your bolt should come first, then your starter coupling, and then your fan should come off, like so. And then that exposes you to the actual flywheel, which you will have to remove um, next. Okay, so to start off this process, there's a couple different ways of which you can um, take the flywheel off itself. Um, I really like using a couple wooden shims. You can also use a crowbar. You have to be careful though. Um, you want to find a nice str strong spot in the the engine block so that you don't score it or um, do anything of the sorts to damage it. So what I'm talking about when using a strong spot of the engine block, I'm talking about here. You can place your crowbar here or here. Um, I wouldn't place it right here because there's not really much metal right here. So you might damage this or break it off. Um, so again, I'm going to take my shim. I'm going to place it behind the flywheel, just like so. Then I'm going to take a uh, mallet or dead blow, and I'm going to gently pound it in there. Keep in mind, if you have charging coils on the back of the flywheel, you don't want to hit those, so you want to keep it um, at an angle like this. So I'm going to just gently tap that in there until it starts, just like that. And then you can gently tap around the flywheel and gently tap the, the threads of it as well. Um, this is your shaft. So I'm going to gently tap around it. Tapping the, all around the flywheel. And then usually it will just come off. See, it's getting pretty wiggly here. And uh, after a few time, a few tries, you should just be able to take the flywheel off itself. Okay, so now that I got your flywheel off, um, in this case, I'm just going to re reuse the old one. And I'm going to pop it back on there, and I'll show you that process. So basically, all you're going to do is do it in reverse order. You want to make sure that you line the keys up with the one on the shaft. And you're going to want to gently place it on the shaft itself. Making sure not to damage any of the parts, making sure that the ignition coil is out of the way. And we're, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our parts 
from the assembly, like our fan, our starter coupling. I'm going to want to place that on there, like so. Then we're going to want to take our starter coupling and align the three dots as well as this little keyhole. So the keyhole goes right here and then the three little spaces. So you place that on there, make sure it's nice and snug so it doesn't move. Then we're going to want to hand start our bolt. So again, using a long style 19 millimeter um, socket. Then I'm going to want to take an impact driver. It's a good idea to use an impact driver just to make sure that the bolt is on there nice and snug so your flywheel doesn't fly off when you're running your engine. So you're going to want to tighten this up. A couple of go arounds with that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that it's on there properly so that it's not too there's not a gap. Um, you, you also want to make sure that your bolt goes on all the way as well. So uh, I'll get back to you guys when we start the next process. Okay, so I found my feeler gauge. I'm going to now use my feeler gauge to install it correctly. So tighten up the bolt. Like so. Then we're going to move the feeler gauge to the bottom. The bottom. Tighten the bolt. And then snug the top. And then we're done. And then you're going to want to make sure that it's the proper gap so that you don't hear the rubbing or any sorts and it looks good all right so now we're gonna put our cover back on okay so to put the cover back on you just want to make sure that you don't get any of the um, governor springs at the top these springs right here or the one in the very back right about there so again make sure to not get the um, the cover in between those because if uh, you hold one of the springs down, when you start the engine, it will go at full throttle. Then I'm going to get my fasteners and fasten each place um, to, secure, to secure the cover. So there's one. There's two. One up top. There's three. And the last one in between the gas tank. That's four. And that concludes how to remove and put back together the flywheel and all the other assemblies around it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to have a comment down. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, anyway, this is enough of this video. So uh, I'll catch you guys later and we'll see you on the next one.